What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Amazon Prime Video new series, Utopia. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Amazon Prime Video for granting me the screener to this entire new show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this video review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Okay, I've never seen the old original British series on which this American reboot is based. So if during the course of your watching this video review, suddenly you go, but Rama, that's how it was done in the original. Well, I wouldn't know that, would I? This new version is the only one I've seen and the only thing I had to go on. I gotta tell you, it's really, really hard to get into the rhythm of this show because there's just so much about Utopia that's unpleasant and revolting. The comic book mystery is convoluted. It tries to sound sophisticated, but it hardly ever lets us, the audience, in on the puzzle. The characters just simply figure it out along the way. Speaking of whom, the show also willy-nilly eliminates the characters that I like and spares the ones that don't have redeeming qualities. So it's an absolute struggle getting passed through the first four episodes. But once the conspiracy thriller starts to unravel and the line between good guys and bad guys is drawn, the whole Mr. Rabbit gobbledygook starts to make sense just a tiny little bit. Still though, I still think that Utopia is too wrapped up in its own eccentricity that it would turn people off instead of capturing their curiosity. Based on the British thriller series of the same name created by Dennis Kelly, this American version is created and developed and executive produced and show run by Gillian Flynn. Utopia is an eight-episode twisted conspiracy thriller that centers around a group of comic fans who meet online and bond of their obsession of a seemingly fictional comic called Utopia. Together, they will unearth hidden meanings cloaked within the pages of the comics that apparently predicts threats to humanity. They realize that these are not just the makings of a conspiracy, they are very real dangers coming alive right now in their world. The high-stakes adventure brings the group face-to-face -face with the comic's central character, Jessica Hyde, played by Sasha Lane, who joins them on their mission to save the world. Do you guys remember that show, Preacher? Do you remember how weird that show was? It's got a guy wearing some kind of cow fetish costume, and it's got power-hungry zealots, and over-the-top violence. Well, I would say that Utopia's weirdness is not nearly on that same level, but just one inch short of becoming that. Some of the episodes would go that weird route to showcase some of the characters, usually at the beginning, but more than often it has to do with that damn gothic comic pages that supposedly carry prophetic clues, but unfortunately, there is a disconnect between the character's obsession and us, the audiences, who are left standing outside the window looking in. Utopia is just not a very engaging TV watching experience. Sasha Lane, who plays the lead character Jessica Hyde, is actually a very interesting rising star. I've seen some of Sasha's other previous roles, but on Utopia, she makes it very impossible for us to take her side. Look, I don't mind unsympathetic characters, but Sasha goes full unsympathetic. Never ever go full unsympathetic. You have to throw the audience a bone every once in a while. You have to give the audience something to work with, because otherwise, you're just a dick. 
a very unlikable dick, I might add. The whole virus storyline is very eerie and makes Utopia very timely. Since we are all currently in a pandemic right now, I think parts of this show will resonate with people who think that there's a big brother pulling the string somewhere. And I wish the writers would just focus more on that and just cut through or do away with the whole rabbit mumbo jumbo, then maybe it would not be such a headache going from one episode to the next. I get that perhaps they were aiming for that Goonies type misfit solving shit, but no matter how hard they try, at the end of the day, I just couldn't care less about any of them. Look, this show is brought to you by the same woman who gave you Gone Girl. Big fan of that adaptation. So Gillian Flynn is probably a strong enough brand name to make you want to give this show a shot. But be warned that Utopia is not for everybody. And it might not leave the mark that you think it would.